What's up everyone, this is Technic here. This is kind of a breaking news video and also a tutorial, but ladies and gentlemen, the custom theme manager is back and I'm gonna teach you how to install it. And again, it has never been easier in 2023. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So for starters, the custom theme manager is a, it's exactly what it sounds like actually. It's just a custom theme uh, database that people create themes on and upload, upload the themes to. And you can download the themes for yourself or if you wanted to, which I'm not going to teach you in this tutorial, you can actually make your own custom PS Vita themes. It's a very time consuming process however and it's, a whole, it's going to be something that I'm going to explain in a whole nother video because I've made a custom theme before and it honestly, it honestly could take all day. But uh, for the easier side of things, I'm gonna teach you how to install the custom theme manager and apply a custom theme as well. So for starters, step one, you're gonna go ahead and go into the almighty app of Vita Deploy. And again, do not press the install, go to the start. Once Vita Deploy opens up, you're going to scroll down to app downloader press your confirm button and then scroll down in the menu until you see something called the custom themes manager press your confirm button the check mark scroll all the way back up then go to download the selected apps it's not really going to take that long to download but at the same time just wait for it to be done it'll pop up with a confirmation message once it says all apps have been successfully installed you can now exit this app go ahead and press your home button to go back into the live area and then close the Vita deploy app now if you were to scroll down the custom themes manager bubble should be there Go ahead and press your confirm button to open it up and then press the start button or the confirm button again. Now previously the custom themes manager database all got erased and the team behind it was considering not uploading it back or not even working on it anymore which I don't blame them for that at all. This is a lot of hard work and honestly for the team Red Squirrel, thank you for actually thank you for working on it again and for uploading it to the PS Vita hacking community because this is something that is very very cool for your PS Vita. So if you were to press the square button, this is actually all the commands for the custom themes uh, manager. So if you press the right or left or the R or L or the front touch screen, uh, you can select an action. So the cross button is going to be the confirm button. The select button is going to be the search for app updates. The circle button is going to be the play or stop the BMG, BGM or the background music. Um, my only <laughs> gripe with this app is I do not like the background music at all. Um, they definitely should have shown something else, but the app itself is still cool. Um, you can also press the triangle button to exit from the application. You can press the start button to reboot the console, which is recommended after themes un 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 uninstallation, basically. So when you uninstall the theme, it's recommended to reboot. Honestly, if you were to download and install themes, I also recommend rebooting your PS Vita as well, just to make sure that everything is okay. So I'm going to press the square button to exit out the command list. And the custom themes manager. You're going to there's a few options that to select from the main one that you're going to be worrying about is this one to download and install new custom theme from the online repository and apply and install theme so honestly you don't really have to choose this option you can actually apply the install theme from your settings menu right after this anyway but i'm going to teach you how to download and install theme so press your x button or the cross button to go into download and install a custom theme from the online repository. Again, this is going to be the second option, not this option, this option. Let's go ahead and press the cross button. It's going to download the uh, thumbnails for the themes that you can download.
Now if I were to press the square button again, it shows you all the navigation options. Now there are several options or several buttons as you can press to search for different things as well. And the only ones you really need to worry about um, is the arrow buttons or the D-pad button and the L and R button or if you're on a PlayStation Vita TV or a PlayStation TV this is going to be the L1 or the R1 button by the way so I'm gonna go ahead and hide this combat menu and I'm gonna find the thing and download so as I said if you press the R button or the R1 button it'll load up the next list of themes I see a pretty cool Demon Slayer theme so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll up and press the cross button to download this thing. It's going to pop up with this menu, which it'll show you how how good the theme is as far as the community rates it and everything. That, and, and also it'll tell you if there are any uh, warnings with it or errors, basically saying that the theme doesn't work correctly and it is in need of an update. So if it shows that the validation score is about 100%, I'm gonna say 90% to 100%, and you don't have any warnings or any errors the theme is honestly good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and press the cross button to download this custom theme after this is going to take a little bit of time to download the custom theme um, depending on the size of the custom theme they're roughly about six megabytes to maybe 15 megabytes which is what I've seen the most of what is So, once you get to this menu, it says press start to write the above custom themes data into your database or press the circle to cancel the installation and delete the extracted files. You're going to want to press the start button. And then it's going to say custom theme installed successfully. Press any button to continue. Now, now that I have installed one custom theme, I'm going to go ahead and press the circle button and go back into the home menu of the custom themes manager. Now there are two ways to apply a custom theme. You can either just do it from this menu right here, press the X button on apply and install a custom theme. And it'll actually take you to the theme settings of your PS Vita. And then you would just press the X button on the theme and then select button or press the confirm button to apply the custom theme. Or what you can do, and I'm just gonna go ahead and close out both of these apps what I want you to do is go into your settings press the X button and there's a certain setting that I do want you to activate as well so go into your sound and display and for your system music some custom themes in fact a lot of custom themes have custom music on it as well you're going to want this enabled before you apply a custom theme if you don't want to hear the system music or the custom themes music, however, um, you can always uncheck mark it. I'm going to check mark this music. Actually, I'm going to leave it uncheck mark because I'm pretty sure <laughs> that they probably put the, th the Demon Slayer's theme music inside of it. And for fear of a copyright strike, I do not want to uh, check mark the system music. So I'm going to leave that off for now, just to be on the safe side. Now to apply the custom theme the other way, you just go to your settings, scroll down to theme and background, press the X button on it, and then go to the theme where it says default. And as you can see, the Demon Slayer theme is now there. So go ahead and press your confirmation button, press your confirmation button again, and it'll apply the custom theme. Now if you were to back out to your home menu, and you kind of see it at the top right corner right here, it's already been pretty much customized. However, if you were to scroll left, now you can see that your live area has a pretty cool theme behind it as well. Now what I like to do is if you were to go into this add uh, background button, you can actually see all the backgrounds that they added to this custom theme, which I thought was pretty cool. So these are all the characters from Demon Slayer. Not all the characters from Demon Slayer, I'm actually still watching the anime. Please don't give me any uh, spoilers. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, the creator has added pretty much a custom background for every single one of these things or every single one of these uh, live area windows and actually if you click on this little window button right here nine times out of ten they will actually let you 
choose the background that you actually want. So you can actually just make every single one of these backgrounds into one of them. So if you wanted to do that, you if you're in the edit uh, edit section of your live area, all you would do is just click on that flashing button on the bottom right and then you would go to the custom themes uh, background folder. It's always gonna be the uh, picture thumbnail of the custom theme itself. So you just press the confirm button and every single picture that is tied to this custom theme is gonna uh, appear. So that being said, that's how you install the custom themes manager. I am so glad it's, that it's back and you can bet that there's going to be several other custom themes added to this application. So this is Technic. I wanted to get on this video and push it out immediately because honestly, the, the fact that this custom themes manager is back, it's on, big shout out to Red Squirrel for this. Um, I really appreciate, appreciate y'all for doing this for the community. Um, you are amazing for that one. And this is Technic and I'll see y'all in the next video. There will be two videos released uh, for tomorrow, just like uh, today's, uh, today's kind of schedule that's been going on. So this is Technic, thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you on the next videos.